Hello, my name is Shinto. Can you tell me your full name, please? My full name is Angel and Sebastian. You can address me as Angel. Can I see your identification, please? Here's a passport that I've used for registration. Andrea, are you interested in fashion and clothes? Yes, I am interested in fashion and clothes. I like following the new trend. Do you have a lot of nice clothes? Yes, I do have a lot of nice clothes. What kind of clothes do you usually wear? I wear clothes that are really comfortable to me. Would you say clothes are expensive in your country? Um, I, I won't say clothes are really expensive in our country. It depends on the person and their capacity to buy clothes. Do you like to wear fashionable clothes? Yes, I like wearing fashionable clothes. Is there anything that you used to wear in the past that you don't wear now? I used to wear a lot of dresses when I was young. I don't wear it now. How often do you go for shopping for clothes? I don't uh, go uh, shopping for clothes uh, often, but I do uh, shop for clothes when there are special occasions. Do you like shopping for clothes? Yes, I do like shopping for clothes. How often do you buy clothes online? Shopping online is really convenient, but I'm not quite satisfied with that, so I shop offline. Do you plan to buy any designer clothes? No, I don't plan on buying designer clothes, but if I do get a good deal, I might. Okay. Andrea, what scenery can you see from the window of your room? From the window of my room, I can see uh, the garden set up by my room. Do you like to watch the scenery from your window? Yes, I do like watching the scenery from my window. It's quite refreshing. Do you want to live in a house with a beautiful window view? Uh, the morning window view is quite refreshing and uh, yeah, it's really nice. So I would like to live in a house with a good window view. How do you feel when you can't see anything beautiful from your window? I feel quite sad and depressed because uh, the uh, fresh view of the trees in the morning itself is quite nice and refreshing. So. Do you want to live in a house with a beautiful window view? Uh, yes, I would like to live in a house with a beautiful window view because uh, the view, uh, the nice view in the morning itself is quite refreshing. How do you feel when you can't see anything beautiful from your window? I feel quite sad and depressed because uh, the fresh view in the morning itself is quite amazing and it feels very nice so I feel very sad by it. Would you like to work in a company related to environmental protection? Yes, definitely I would like to work in a company that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, that focuses on environmental protection. Uh, because I myself haven't done enough, so I feel uh, very nice working with a company like that. How can we protect the environment? Uh, we can protect the environment in many ways, including um, uh, reducing the usage of plastics, uh, recycling waste, um, then uh, saving water, and so on. Is there education about environmental protection at school? Uh, yes, uh, education about environmental protection is uh, a part of formal education in India. That was the end of task 1. Now we'll begin with task 2, for which I'll give you a cue card. You can take down notes in one minute if you like, and you'll have to speak for two minutes. You have one to two minutes to speak, so don't worry if I interrupt you in between. You may start speaking now. Over the years, uh, different kinds of laws have been uh, imposed, our, uh, imposed by our government uh, for the smooth functioning of the society. Without these laws, there'd be utter chaos and anarchy. Today, I would like to talk about such a law on environmental protection, which is the Forest Act of 1980. This law was enforced on 25th of October, 1980. Uh, it aims at uh, preserving the forests of our country by controlling the rates of deforestation. I came to know about this law through the newspaper. I feel um, each and every citizen of India is affected by this law. This, uh, this act aims at uh, maintaining our ecology by uh, preserving the forests of our country. 
It also aspires to regenerate the forest by planting more trees and uh, uh, increasing the forest growth. Mm. Uh, I personally believe this law is very much necessary because as we all know, our forests play a vital role in maintaining the, uh, the ecological balance. Um, but unfortunately, due to the um, alarming rates of deforestation, um, uh, alarming rates of deforestation have started to harm our environment uh, and create huge ecological imbalances. Um, so this uh, law is very much essential to uh, make people aware that it is their duty and responsibility to protect their environment and it could also um, uh, save our, uh, ourselves from the future inevitable future in, uh, consequences of our own actions. Um, so I feel uh, this is one of the most important laws that have been passed in this regard. That was the end of task 2. Now we'll begin with task 3 for the follow up questions. Do you think this law is acceptable to the people? Yes, this law is definitely acceptable to the people. Uh, there has been this growing awareness among, uh, about environmental issues among the Indians. So uh, they, uh, they too have been uh, putting efforts to protect their environment. Is there any situation wherein people may disobey the law? Yes, there are instances where people disobey the law. Uh, I think the most uh, important reasons why people disobey the law is uh, may, uh, the convenience that they have to give up and the profits that they earn by disobeying the law. Do people like being a police officer in your country? Uh, yes, there are many people who like being police officers in my country. Uh, several people take the exams every year and uh, the competition for such exams is a clear indicator of how, how much people want to be police officers in the country. What qualities should a police officer possess? I believe the qualities that a police officer should possess is sincerity and uh, uh, bringing uh, you know, uh, passion for the job and uh, bringing justice to people and so on. Why do some people prefer to be lawyers? I think the main reason why people prefer to be uh, lawyers is uh, the uh, passion uh, of bringing uh, uh, justice to people and ensuring that they are treated fairly by law. And some people, for some people, it could be uh, the money and fame that comes with it. Should people be penalized when they use mobile phones while driving? Definitely, they should be penalized for using mobile phones while driving because it, is, it could be a fatal mistake. It could cause their lives, so it is something that they should be penalized for. Is kindness the most important quality of a police officer? Uh, no, uh, kindness is not the most important quality of a police officer. Um, I think uh, those are, uh, you know, being courageous, determination, and uh, selflessness, etc. Um, being too kind can be, you know, uh, the criminals could take advantage of it. So uh, kindness is not definitely the, the most important quality a police officer could possess. Do you think both men and women can be police officers? I don't think there is a gender barrier for this particular profession. So both men and women can serve the police department equally. Okay. Do you think the police officers are paid too much? I don't think police officers are paid too much. In fact, they are underpaid compared to those in the Western countries. Do all Indian people obey the law? Uh, like anywhere in the world,
world, there would be some people who disobey the law, but majority of Indians do obey the law. That was the end of your speaking session. Have a good day ahead. Thank you.